channel if you're new here my name is Louise I'm proud mum to two adult children Blossom who doesn't live with us anymore Corey who does and I've got two dogs Chip and Dow who are down here at the moment my channel is a haul every Saturday and I'm trying to get into a little bit during the week so if you enjoy that sort of thing and you watch this and enjoy please don't forget to subscribe down below if you want to be part of this family this youtube family and um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoy it as well because it really helps to uh, grow my channel actually this was a weird um, again i'm always saying it's a weird one so i actually went shopping yesterday friday uh went into asda and i was hoping to get everything in asda and just be done with it i actually just had one of those weird days i couldn't get myself out of the house i just couldn't get motivated to do anything finally went a lot later than I usually do I think I got to the town it was about 4 30 I think and I assumed my shop was bad because I went later than usual turns out not because I actually went again this morning so I didn't get a lot of stuff that I normally would get or stuff that I wanted to get that was <laughs> dogs banging their bowl um put me off yeah, so I actually did go with a list, didn't get barely anything off the list. Um, so I decided, okay, get up early, go in the morning. Clearly, I have to get motivated and go in the morning, but it was just as bad today. But there's a few things missing. I'll go through it as, as and when it comes up. So I went to Asda. I did a little bit of a top up in Tesco for basics. I mean, I couldn't even get the bread that I wanted to get in Asda. It was that bad. Um, and there's no crisps and things like that. It's... It is what it is, isn't it? Um, some days are good, some days are bad. Hopefully I can stock up better next week. Let's get on with it. We're gonna start off with the Asda haul at the moment. I picked up a cucumber, 43p for that one. I'm gonna try and have a lot of salads. I realized I have a lot of those packet pasta type things in the cupboard that I didn't realize I have. So I'm gonna do a lot of salads and pasta meals this week always get my tomatoes these are my favorite ones these are 99p they're the small ones but actually they're big enough to slice up and have in sandwich as well because i love a good sandwich wasn't going to get peppers this way well i sort of what i was thinking of it and then i decided not to but then i went around and, and saw the reduced bit and found these for 27p which made my decision up for me so we've got peppers not sure what i'm going to use them for yet but i will definitely use them I was going to get a broccoli and then to, I, it, again so it was a combination of a weird shop because there wasn't the right stuff in but also my mood i talked myself out the broccoli but then when we got to the reduced bit i thought okay 48p it's got the broccoli it's got the carrots that corey likes and it's got some little those little baby corn things which i'm not sure if i like them or not but i was thinking of doing like a mashed potato and veggie type meal i'm not sure exactly what's going to go with it i'm trying to eat the freezer down still not doing very well we're just not really eating much out of the freezer at the moment uh picked up some romaine lettuce the lettuce yesterday was really really bad so i wasn't going to get any lettuce at all um but this morning it was way better and i bought some romaine last week and i'm thoroughly enjoying it really really good so i thought i'd pick up a couple of those that's a pound for those two and i really like my baking potatoes they're really really good sizes i mean that one's flipping huge one pound 25 for that big thing it covers you for the baking potatoes and the mashed potatoes and i was out of onions so i just picked up some more of those six pint of semi-skim milk this is the standard thing it's always there and another thing that's always here is my 70p jar of cheap coffee i absolutely love this it's just your basic standard coffee but it just goes down so well in the morning i picked up a packet of crackers didn't realize actually i've got some in there i just like to have them there all the time you know sometimes you just fancy a snack or something this it just does it it's oh it's just the texture it's just filling they're only 34 calories per cracker as well so and they're 34 pates strangely enough are they actually they're 35 calories <laughs> 35 calories 34p for that massive thing i actually didn't realize so they're exactly the same as jacob's crackers which are 125 for that size packet so you're saving a lot and honestly i don't think you could tell the difference if you did a taste a blind taste test i don't think you'd tell the difference between those two picked up two tunas Corey's eaten a couple this week and i'm thinking of doing a tuna bake and they are 59p for this this is the cheap 
Asda's own ones. We, I get the ones in brine. I don't like the ones in oil, but they are really good. You know, sometimes the cheaper ones, you get like a lot of the scales and stuff. You don't really tend to get that in these. So they're, they're a good one, even though they're cheap. And I used a couple of tins of green beans for the Thanksgiving meal the other week, which you will be seeing next week. I have recorded it, I haven't edited it, so I don't know if it's going to be good or not, but you will be getting a Thanksgiving up on the channel next week, so I had to pick up another tin of that. And as you know, if you've been here for a while, for the past, I guess, three weeks, I've been buying these sliced cheeses instead of the big slab. I've still got big slab in, in the fridge, so I just don't need it. Uh, as long as it's sealed, it's going to last ages anyway. So these were £1.74 per packet, They've gone up, they're £1.99 a packet, or you can get two for £3. I bought this last week, I'm not sure if it was for the first time, I believe I probably tried them before, but my taste has definitely changed. They do have a decent bit of heat, but I can handle it, and it goes really, really good in your sandwiches, gives it a bit of a kick. And I thought I'd do something different, I always get the white cheddar, I thought I'd go with the orange red Leicester. Orangey, it's the orangey cheese, and everyone knows it is the orangey cheese. Um, so this is a sweet and nutty instead of the strong one. Uh, always get a butter. I am going to try and ease up on it. I realise that I quite like mayonnaise at the moment, which is way less calories. So I only picked up the one. If I don't have more than one, I can't eat it. And this is uh, part of my starting our Christmas food. I'm going to try not to do a massive food hot shop at Christmas. It's just easier to pick bits up as you go along. It's 32p for this packet of stuffing. This was, a, again, I had to buy that today. They didn't have any at all yesterday, and they only had two packets today. So things are going quick. I picked up Corey's tortilla chips. He absolutely loves these. I would normally buy a dip to go with it, which is... The Azza's own one for 65p, he likes the sour cream and chive. But they still don't have any of their Azza's own dips in my, my local Asda. Anybody in England that goes to Asda, do they have them in yours? Or is it just a thing at the moment? Let me know. But Corey actually said he really, really misses it. So he asked me to get the Doritos. This is the this is £2.50. So I paid £2.50 instead of 65p. But he said he really, really does miss it. And he did give me his card to buy it. So I... I'm not going to use his car for that. I'm gonna, I treated him two fifty for that. It's disgusting. But hey, two packets of ibuprofen capsules. The uh, caplets. I've been in quite a bit of pain with my foot, and I read something that says inflammation is a big cause of it. And I know ibuprofen is good for inflammation. So I picked up a couple of packets. Hopefully, it'll just ease things this week. And dog food, run out of the web box, haven't bought this for ages because it lasts them so long and I usually, I change things up. They have some web box chub roll and they have some of the Asda Hero dog foods throughout the week. I change things up so they don't get bored because they do tend to get bored. Oh, let me move the shine. <laughs> so these are 50p. There's the turkey and chicken pate and the beef pate. That's all they've got still. They did have the chicken and ham, but they still don't have it. I uh, only picked up one each of them. They've got a couple left from last week. This is um, an eight pack and this is five pounds, but usually um, one of those will do them two meals. So that's really good price as well. And I found these Christmas one. This is one pound 39. Um, it's cranberry and turkey flavour, and they're like little tiny soft chunks. I just thought I'd give it a go. It's just a little Christmas got conned into it type thing, isn't it? Uh, they do have a mince pie one, which I don't know. I don't think my dogs are going to like that. Um, and I think they do a turkey and sage. I think it was sage stuffing. Uh, I thought I'd give them a go with this. If they like it, I might buy the other flavour another week. Corey's Dr Pepper again. These are 185 normally, but there's two for three pounds. So yes, I've hidden one again. I'm gonna. I'm starting to just put a couple aside for Christmas. If he knows it's there, he's gonna drink it. So I just hid it. Corey actually had two beef lasagnas. Like I said, I bought it yesterday, so he's already eaten one of them. They're one pound twenty. Now I did buy the beef lasagna in Iceland a few weeks ago, which is a pound, and he doesn't like it at all. But this one, he said he'd eat it every night, so he asked me to pick up a couple and i picked up the pizzas again 90p he thoroughly enjoyed them he's actually disappointed that i didn't buy them yesterday because they didn't have them yesterday <laughs> and a 
Shepherd's Pie. These are normally £1.30, but they're a pound at the moment. I tend to buy the Bist he likes the Bisto ones. If they're a pound deal, I'll pick them up. Otherwise, I just tend to leave them alone. And I found this. Corey likes chicken things. He wanted a lot of chicken things, but there wasn't a choice of a lot of chicken things, so he's got what he's given. First of all, I just saw it was the battered chicken nuggets, and then I thought, hang on a minute, am I reading that right? I thought that they put the wrong label on it, but it's pigs in blanket flavoured battered nuggets. I was intrigued. I mean, I'll try one when he has some, but I won't, wouldn't make that for myself. I'm just not a really big chicken nugget fan occasionally, but I prefer the fake meat stuff. Um, yeah, I just, it's interesting, limited edition. You've got to give it a go, haven't you? And I'd mentioned to Corey that I was going to buy my absolute favourite pizza. Now, I'm not a pizza person particularly. You know, if you're going to do a takeaway or something, I would never say I want a pizza. But this is so amazing. I always rave about it when I get it. It's the Sweet Honey Barbecue Salami. Uh, usually $3.50 in those days. actually $2.75 at the moment. I would pay $3.50 and I would never pay that for a pizza normally. Not a frozen one from like a supermarket. But it is that good. It really is that good and it really does come out looking that good as well when you cook it. It's amazing. Uh, Corey asked for some plain chips this week. I did buy them flavoured ones the other week. This is a 1.5 kilogram packet for £1.25. And I realised it was out of hash browns. So I just like to have them in the cupboard. Uh, in the freezer rather. A <laughs> pound for that packet. And that was the Asda haul. Then, like I said, I popped into Tesco. I just picked up a toilet roll. These are still saying two twenty on the shelf, but they're actually two pounds. Um, Pringles. I've been buying. This is for Christmas. I've been buying a, a packet a week in different flavours. I know Corey absolutely loves the prawn cocktail one. They're one pound forty nine in um, Tesco's at the moment. But do have to look out for uh, the packaging that's. The Christmas, they have a Christmas packaging. They have different pictures on different flavours and I, I was just having a look while I was in there and the, the prawn cocktail one is actually a really pretty penguin. It is really pretty, but it is 2 50 and not 1 49 And I think you get a 10 grams more in it. It's way not worth the extra pounds. So if you are getting them, be careful. You don't pick up the wrong packaging. If you're going by the way, if you're going to buy it for the packaging, go for it because it is a really sweet penguin. <laughs> And I picked up the loaf of bread. They didn't have any bread in us, like I said. This is 65p, I believe. But this one is way, way better than the Asda one. Anyway, it's just, it's a better taste. They both look the same, apart from clearly the name. Um, but they, the Tesco one is way, way ahead of the Asda one. I uh, picked up myself some fizzy. I'm trying to stay away from fizzy. I am drinking a lot of water at the moment, which is good. But sometimes you just I just crave fizzy. And I was buying the really cheap lemonade from... Asda, which is 17p, but then I realised I was just drinking the whole thing because once I open it, I just kept going and going and going. Whereas with the cans, I'm more likely not to do that, and it's just not good for me. It gives me heartburn and stuff. I do have one in the fridge at the moment, getting cold. Um, this is actually another Christmas present. I'm doing Corey. A while ago, Corey got a uh, one of those packets you buy online where you like a. Uh, different nationalities and it was a drinks packet and he really enjoyed trying different drinks I'm not doing a different nationality thing I'm just trying to find different drinks and I thought lychee I don't know if I don't I mean that I'm guessing is the lychee never heard of it before but it was 55p I'm just trying to get little unusual flavour cans and I'm going to make him like a box of Christmas so it was just one of those random things and Corey had mentioned when I said to him I was going to buy the pizza this week he said can we get some dough balls instead of garlic bread just for a change and they didn't have anything in Asda at all these are the only ones I found in Tesco and they were three pounds and I ummed and ahed for a minute I thought you know it's three pounds let's just do it and then I oh it was such a surprise went through the till scanned my club card and it come up at one pound fifty so I'm assuming this is on a club card deal but it didn't say it on the shelf so if you like these three pounds to me I yeah that's quite expensive. £1.50, way more manageable. So this was like a nice little surprise when I went through the till. Um, I thought oh, it looks quite dry, but apparently it's got a separate garlic dip. So you use it as a dip. And you know, like garlic balls normally have the garlic on them and they dry out and stuff. So I thought that was quite a nice idea, actually. And this is uh, Pizza Express, so it's a make. 
never tried it before hopefully this will come well up this will come out well and that was this week's haul our budget for um our shopping every week is 60 pounds which came to 52 again below budget i could have probably picked up a few more bits for christmas but it was just i wasn't in the right frame of mind for it it's just one of them things isn't it so hopefully i'll pick up some more bits next week because it's coming around really quick do you know what surprised me actually is the milk the date on the milk it said the 2nd of december that really hit home i know the date but it just you know oh my god we're that close the milk actually runs out in december we're that close oh my god um yeah little freak out there if you enjoyed this weird haul and you'd like to see more if you'd like to see what i do during the week don't forget to subscribe down below i'm sure i said that earlier but just in case i forgot i hope you're having a lovely day and i will see you in the next one bye